My beautiful Cancer Dragons, welcome to your prediction for 2022. I'm getting four cards, one for each quarter, just from the Oracle to give us an overview. Then we're going to be getting some tarot cards, what you don't see coming, some advice. So there's a lot going on. So let's go ahead and go after this shuffle. If nothing comes out, I will take top cards. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. Okay, guys, so... Now we're going to go ahead and we'll see what comes out for the tarot. So, uh, so please guys, while I'm shuffling, please do like and subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate uh, your support for me. Uh, Cancers, let's see what's going on for you guys. Remember, there's like a ton of other readings coming up all the time, so please do hit that like button. Or not the like button. Well, do hit the like button. Woo, things are flying out. But do hit the little bell so you get notified whenever I put something up. Okay, so that's three. Okay, should I stop or are we still going? Okay, one, two... Should I keep going? Summer. Summer. Come on. There we go. One. Ooh. Two. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Good cards in the summer, guys. And one. Wow. They're just flying out for you guys. Two. Whoa. Three. Okay. So. Let's see what's going on for you, shall we? So we have a leg up. So from January to March, okay, you're going to be, uh, have a leg up. Let's see, Magician, the Three of Pentacles, and the Empress. So oh, I feel that you've had to be patient for something. Um, there might have been some self-doubt. Um, and maybe your faith has been tested, okay? That's sort of what the magician is, is things aren't really in balance, doesn't really feel great. Um, it's about something to do with your community, though. Um, and I feel like you are getting some sort of recognition coming in. So this is sort of the leg coming up, the leg coming up, the leg up, um, is that you are going to be recognized for something, okay? It's something that you're collaborating on with teamwork, Um yeah, with community. And look at this Empress. You're in full creation mode. So this is a really beautiful energy for you. So, um, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, this is just, you're breathing new life into something and you really are getting a handle on it. So good job, Cancer. This is fantastic. Let's see. Oh, for the next three months for the spring or, uh, fall, if you're in the Southern hemisphere, April to June, you have go the distance. You are recovering, okay? You're recovering from something. You're making a clean break from something in the past and any suffering that was associated with it. So you might be ending a career. So this might be the start of something and then you've just decided to let something go because this is doing okay, okay? You're like, you, you've tied up all the loose ends. Everything is done. It could also mean that you've um, gotten a divorce or quit your job, but this is the end. Okay, it's the 10. You're like all the swords. Are, there's no more swords that could fit in your back and you are done and it is over. And it's about going the distance. So you are going the distance to complete something. Look at this. Yeah, see here it's sort of like career and then it's almost like because you got one aspect of your life under wraps, you've decided just to go and attack something else because you have the three of swords in reverse. So this is about um, this is about recovering from and, and from and maybe physical healing too, but this is about releasing pain. And this is also about accepting the truth in a matter. Um, just because these both say divorce, I'm going to say there's some sort of separation that happened, but that it's, it's gone. It's, it's done. Okay. And you have your knight of swords in reverse. I feel like there has, um, I feel like you were passive about the situation. I really feel like all these things had to happen. 
all of these endings. If you're not getting a divorce, you're not separated. It's some relationship that needed to end. And it's things that were being put off. Okay, so, or feelings, right? Say for like, but Shannon, I'm fine. Like, seriously, what's going on? Maybe there's something deep, deep down that you know that you've had to take care of. And it might not be as like, whoo, dramatic as this. But usually people don't come to tarot for like, oh, everything's good. Da, 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 da. It's usually like, whoa, shit's happening, right? So, okay, let's go on. So, yeah, so look at this. You guys do so much for the first six months take time for a nap yeah so in the summertime you get to nap yeah because you've been standing your ground you've been getting um over all kinds of fighting and arguing and i feel like you've been pulled apart in too many directions and there's been conflict and fighting and i think that that might happen from this and i think finally you might be reclaiming yourself and so you're deciding and you're making other people very mad that you're doing this because you're creating endings, right? So look at this, because you're creating endings and look at this, you're bringing new life into your life, right? It's the Ace of Cups. This could be a new relationship or happiness or emotions, right? Maybe you're gonna be finding a new love, who knows, okay? But this is about opening up spiritually. This is a great time for your heart because look at all this work that you've done. And for this to come out after death, it's amazing. It's actually really, really beautiful. Okay, guys, so now at the end, clean it up. So there's always little leftover things, yeah. So you're gonna notice that you're probably, once this happens, you might notice that you might have a few patterns that you need to reconnect with to break out of. And it has to do with some sort of preconceived notion to do with some sort of authority. Um, so it could have something to do with like laws or limiting beliefs or religion or something is sort of keeping you held back. But here's the thing. Be careful with this, okay? Because I feel like this Ace of Cups is so happy. You get the Page of Cups in reverse. And this is about um, a lack of intuition. So this is sort of a bit of going backwards. And I hear that the Hierophant and the Page of Cups are actually moving you backwards. So it's like you are doing so good. You're moving ahead. You're making all this progress. And you may actually start holding yourself back. Oop. Now, alternatively, sorry guys, what this hierophant could also be is that you're also obtaining um, more spiritual insight and you're not giving your power away. And maybe you decide, right, that um, maybe you're actually starting to come to terms with how you've behaved in the past with things or maybe somebody who's coming to you and not behaving well like you could still be pushing through this big cycle because you have the world in reverse of these past things they aren't just going to heal sorry guys healing doesn't happen in a year <laughs> okay seriously healing does not happen in a year right it's like wow i wish somebody would have told me that Give yourself time. And there's a lot of movement the first six months of the year. There's a lot of movement, right? And even over like the, from July to September, having the death card, that's big. That's still a ton of movement. Okay. So let's see what advice or what does, sorry, what does cancer not see coming? So one, two, three, four. Okay. So one, yeah. So one, two yeah okay wow you guys are pulling out major arcana there's this whole thing that happens here you don't have control over it's going to be happening and it's almost and it's definitely the universe just telling you uh hey you know what i've had it with you look at this all four things that you don't see coming are major arcana holy crap okay so you have judgment in reverse. You don't have control over this. This is going to happen. But what you do need to do is make sure that you're at a good place with yourself. Okay. You need to cope with life's changes. Okay. That's this leg up is it's going to push you and you need to go the distance. You have the sun in reverse. The sun card is never negative. Okay. So what it is, is it's just that this is, uh, this has been delayed. 
And I feel that you have been delaying something to do with this, with recovering, or there's been delays in the process. Maybe you're trying to get a divorce and somebody's been delaying it and delaying it. Okay. And um, so it's not that it isn't happy. It's just been slowed down. Okay. Um, because then time for a nap. So once this is done, once this is over with, you have the moon. Okay. And so this is you guys showing up in your own reading. This is your planet, right? And this is, um, it's about really um, conquering and healing, okay? This is the last bit of deep healing. So really shining those lights, the light into the dark side of your soul and letting the past go, okay? This could also be that you discover that somebody kept something from you and that's where, you know, this all happens, right? So maybe all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, but then you come into priestess mode, okay? And this is where you're really developing your intuition and your awareness, okay? You need to go within and you're being calmed to um, meditate, even seek out. And here's the funny thing with the priestess being with the Hierophant. You know how I said about education? This is also about, so the end of next year, Cancers, uh, see if all of a sudden you have this tug to go into the intuitive arts or to become a healer or a massage therapist or a psychic, something where you're using your intuition for, because these two together, that's what they say is you're gonna wanna look into getting educated to do this for a living, okay? So, and I don't think you see this coming. So even though I say this now, when it happens, you might remember, oh, hey, Shannon over there at Fire Dragon Tarot, she was like, oh, you know, she said, hey, I was going to do this, but you might not, or, oh, there was something here that said that, right? But you don't see it coming, right? Or you're sitting there going, there's no way. There's no way I want to do that, and that's fine. So let's see. What is advice? So can you give me a few cards for advice, please, for cancer for the next year? Ooh. Okay, so, no, I just heard no, there were three. I was like, no, no, we're not doing that. Okay, so let's see what's here. Yeah, so you need to walk away from this feeling that you're, that, you need to walk away from this feeling that you're poor. And I don't think it could be money poor. You could have a financial poverty mindset. Um, but you're poor somehow. Family, stability, love, something. Okay? You need to get away from this because this justice is upside down. It's, it's an injustice. And the thing is, is what you give out is what you're getting back. Right? And I think this is what it is. Is It's just like, listen, you know, the advice is to stop stop the negative thought patterns okay one more shuffle I'm going to take from the top and and it's really just guiding you to really go deep and connect and see exactly what's going on your seven of cups is in the reverse yet you feel like you don't have any choices but to do it and um, you're self-sabotaging uh, cancer so watch because these cards are warning you Okay, I always talk to the signs about how each sign has two different, you can be the good or the bad, or a little, always a combination of both. But if you've ever met a certain sign and they're really in their bad side, like it is true to form, right? And But if you've ever met a sign and they're good, again, true to form. This is a warning for you guys not to fall back, okay? Not to fall back into these bad thought patterns. Okay, because Cancers love you guys. You can be moody, okay? If you're like, I'm not moody, first of all, go ask somebody else that you know and love. Uh, see if you are moody. And if you if you aren't, maybe go check out another sign, okay? Um, one that might resonate with you more. But guys, this is, this is a huge warning. I think everybody can say that they really do self-talk. Okay, and it's it's really bringing in and trying to stay positive because you do make great strides, right? You really do, okay? But don't expect it to happen overnight, okay, guys? You have the universe behind you. It's going to keep surprising you all throughout the year, okay? Thank you. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in your next reading. Thanks, guys.